fantastic Sydney day and wherever you are around the world, I'd love you to join us right now for your daily dose of aerobics Oz style. It's time to get fit, it's time to get toned. What are we going to do today? It's called body conditioning. Body conditioning means we're going to use your body weight to tone and shape your muscles. That means squats, maybe lunges, push-ups, dips, sit-ups, using your own body weight. But we need to warm up first, so please join in right now. All you need, comfortable clothing. Talking about clothing, do you like our gear? Our gear comes from Naughty Girl. If you need to know more about Naughty Girl, you've got to wait for the credits. It's fantastic gear, good fun for partying, good fun for the beach, and fun for exercise as well. Take your feet a little bit wider apart. Keep your knees soft and your stomach muscles really, really tight. Hey team, bring your feet back in close. March it up, that's it. All you have to do is keep moving to get your heart rate up and warm up your muscles. Wider now, let's go. March it out. Four more, and push, two, three. Bring your feet back in. That's simple, isn't it? If you've never tried it before, come on, give it a go, it's easy. Feet out wide, here we go, out. You're bending your knees a little bit more on this one. Look, if we can do this out in the middle of Darling Harbour, feet back in, and we look pretty unusual doing that movement, yeah? You can do it in your lounge room. Let's go, take it out. And back in now, here we go, four, three, Two, everyone, take it out wide. Push, two, three, and in. That's it. Keep pumping your arms and your legs. Same again. Push out, two, three. Bring it back in. One last time. Relax your shoulders down. Yes, you've got it. Come on. Push, two, four, out, four, in. Come on now, it goes. One, two, three, four, in, two, three, four, out, two, three, two out, two in. Push, in, push, in, push, in and make it an easy walk that goes forward and back, forward and back. Big, big steps. Make sure you're bending down through your knees. You've got two more times, one more to go, and then step touch off to your right side, out and in. And a little bit of a clap, come on. Find that beat and keep it moving. The further you stretch out from side to side, the more muscles you're gonna use, and the faster you're gonna warm your body up. So take big steps. Eight more, eight, seven, six, five. All we're gonna do now is change the arms. Take them up high now. Lifting, stretching, reaching, pushing. Oh yeah, we got it. Woo! Down low, four times. One, two, three. Please take that up high. Four, three, two. Low again now. Four, three, two. Stretch it, come on. All the way up. Low again, that's out, two, three, reach up, come on. One more time. All right, we're gonna link that up with the easy walk. That was our first move. So first of all, feet are going out, out, in, in. Down, in, down, in, down, in. Add on your step touch, four, three, two. Then reach out up, lift. Want to try it again? Easy walk. Step out. So this is just marching. That's all you have to do. Add on the step touch, side to side. Low to begin, then take that high. So if you're confused, all you have to do basically is this. Easy walks. Keep doing your easy walks, or you can just keep marching like I am. And then go out to the side. Four, three, two, up and down. Girls, are you doing it? You're supposed to be doing easy walks. They're doing easy walks. That's it. They're supposed to do the routine while I'm doing this and you're doing that. All right? Then they do the step touches. Yeah, that's it. And then they go up and down. You need me, do you? Easy walks. They're not very good on their own, are they? Here we go. How did you go? Step touch. Out. Two. Three. Four. And lift. Okay, this time you're on your own. Show me. One. Two. Three, four, step touch, one. Oh yeah, oh yeah, come on, let's go. I think we got it. Push her. That's it, tummy's in. Take your step touch out now. So, maybe you could be an instructor as well. Hands up, push, push, push and march. All right, team, you are warmer, hopefully. Sweating maybe a little bit, and that's exactly what we wanted to achieve in our first section. We're going to come back with some leg work, some upper body work, and some tummy. So come straight back.
an excuse. We get fan me. mail from all around the world, fan mail and emails. Right now, before you do anything, I want you to get in your squatting position and bend your knees down and up. You keep that going no matter what I do, all right? They've got it. All right, hopefully you're still moving. This piece of mail comes from Monica, now I'm not sure about the surname, Althred or Uthred, and she's from South Australia. Now, Monica, she's been doing the workouts with us over the last few years. Her family thinks she's had great results. Her boyfriend thinks she's had great results. So why not join? And she's a single mum, I think. Join in with Monica and the kids and work out with us today. So all the mums out there, this workout's for you. Working through those legs. Take a little bit deeper and just stay low. Squeeze your bottom tight. Shoulders relax. Your arms stay down about mid-chest level. Four more. Four and lift. Three and lift. Two and lift. What I need you to do now is go side and in. Side and in. Push it out and lift. Push it out and lift. Take that a little bit deeper into the squat. That's it. We're going to step out. We're going to stay there for four. Let's go. Four, three, two. Bring it back in and change. Four, three, two, one. And low. Two, three, four. Try and feel those muscles squeezing tight. Let's go again. Down. Two, three, four. Across. Down. Two, three. Same again. Come on. Push those legs. One last time. And down. Back in the center. Regular squats. Down and up. Feet parallel. Weight on your heels. Squeeze tightly into your bottom. Push through. And lift. That's your team. Take it down low and stay low. Try and work with your breathing. So you're breathing continuously in and out, nice and steady. Try not to huff and puff. Try not to hold your breath. Sit it down and squeeze. Two more. One more. Are you ready for four pulses to the side? Down, two, three. Other side, let's go. Down, two, three. And again, come on. Push it low, two, three. Four, and across, down, two, three, come on, step on it, let's go, down, two, three, push over, how the legs going, nearly there, rest, two, one last time, everybody, down, two, three, shake those out, woo, alright, that's you've got your heart rates up and had you huffing and puffing, working through the legs, you're going to work more into your upper body now, so that means coming down to the floor ready for some push-ups. Now, with push-ups, you can stay on your knees, but if you're stronger, you can stretch your body out and go onto your toes. And that's our eventual goal, is to do some push-ups on our toes. Let's see how we go right now. Hands forward, stomach muscles in, body's tight. Chest down towards the floor. Breathing out, pressing through. Now with push-ups, you've got to check that you're not locking out your elbows. You're keeping those elbows nice and soft. Stomach muscles in. Take a break, stretch your back. We'll only do a few at a time because I know that push-ups are one of the most challenging exercises that you have to do, especially for women. Women find it hard because we don't use a lot of upper body in our normal routines. Let's try again. Body straight, let's go. Exhale and push. Remember that the team that you're watching, these guys have been professional gymnasts. Tegan was a trapeze artist, so she's very strong in her upper body. You can't keep up with these guys. Don't worry, you do your best. As many as you can, you take a break, and you join in when you're ready. Let's go four more. Four. Three. Two, time to stretch it back and relax. All the way over. That's your stomach muscles are tight, hands are reaching out, drop your head down. Woo! Time to roll over, let's do some dips. Favorite area to work for a woman, Often the back of the arms. Think about it. Who hasn't stood in front of a mirror? I've done that. Why do women do that? I don't know. Don't ever do it again. Start doing some dips. You ready? Hands back. Bottoms on the ground. Just bend your elbows. Just squeeze. Think about that area in the back of your arm, your tricep muscle, and use that to push you up. So you've got to lean on your arms and then push. Make sure you've got your hands far enough away from your bottom so you're feeling comfortable in your wrists. I often find that some people bring their hands in too close to the bottom and you can't actually do the exercise properly. So hands back and keep that going. 
Now I feel that I need some more of these, and I think you probably do too. So keep pushing, keep squeezing, and we'll be back with some more work very soon. Still work into our upper body for a little bit longer, so a few more push-ups and a few more dips. Now it's time to say hello to Japan. Hi Japan, I've actually got someone here called Tomoyoshi Segawa. Excuse my pronunciation, but it's great to hear from you. Tomoyoshi is a beginner as far as aerobics goes, and he sent us an email saying he really enjoys watching aerobics all style. So hello to Japan, all our viewers out there. Great to see you. Get down on the floor with us and start using your arms. Okay team. You can either stay in this position here, or you can lift your bottom off the ground, lift the chest and let's pump it out, down, squeeze. So a little bit more work into the backs of your arms, breathe out. What's the common mistake on this one that aerobics instructors see? It's this. Are my arms working right now? Ah, you've got to use your arms, take the weight on your arms and bend, push, bend, push. Breathe out, squeeze it tight. Come on, let's aim for four more together. Down, push one, push number two, number three, and number four. Okay, shake out your arms. If you found that was too stressful on your wrists and your forearms, you might need to just do a few and take a little tiny break and gradually build up the strength in your wrists and your forearms. Don't overdo that. Back around again for your push-ups. But these ones are gonna be tricep push-ups. Your hands will be in a little bit closer underneath your shoulders. You're going to keep your elbows very close to your body. All right, so it's different to the other ones. These are closer. You bring your chest down in the middle of your arms. Go slowly. Slowly down. Slowly up. Now another thing you've got to be thinking about is what's happening through your torso. You've got your bottom back here. You're not really loading your arms. You've got to keep your weight on your arms, stomach muscles tight. Even if you only get to there and then push back up. That's a start. As you get stronger, you'll go further. You're going to take it lower and then press. And lower and press. Breathing in and breathing out. Slower, come on. Push two more times. Take that down and up. One last time. That's down and up. Okay. Sitting back, take a stretch with your hands right up over the top. That's your tricep stretch. Fingertips down the middle of your back. Switching around. Are your arms a little bit tired now? Well, that's okay because we're going to work abdominals. Lie on your back. Your knees will be bent to support your body weight as you roll down through your spine. You're going to start with your head and shoulders off the ground. You're going to place your arms just across your chest, and all you're going to do is roll your body up a little bit. So you're going to squeeze up and lower back. Squeeze up and lower back. We're trying to squeeze the torso, make that shorter and longer. Breathing out, breathing in. Now, we're going to have a look at the other guys and see how they're going, so come with me. Popping over to Rhonda first. Beautiful form, beautiful technique. Now, if you want to have a belly button piercing like this, you've got to keep doing your ab workouts, alright, because you have a nice toned tummy. Well, I've seen a lot of girls who've actually got more rounded tummies around the hips, and I think it looks gorgeous on them too. So please don't worry, you know, you don't always have to be long and lean. I think a bit of a round tummy can look very sexy as well. But you still want to be firm, so you've got to keep doing your crunches. Breathing out on the way up, in on the way down, and you've got to be able to smile like Rhonda at the same time. <laughs> Come on, two more, you're nearly there. You're doing so well. Squeeze it up and down one last time, and then you get to have a rest. Just lie down and relax. Stretch your legs out, stretch your arms out, so you're stretching out these muscles now. The muscle that runs from your rib cage to your pubic bone is called rectus abdominis. This muscle here, the six pack muscle. We hear people talking about, oh, she's got a six pack, he's got a six pack. Do you know those muscles actually aren't as important as some of the other ones underneath? So just because you can see them doesn't mean that they're the most important muscles. I guess it depends on your priority, doesn't it? Whether it's looks or it's function. Let's work a little bit of functional work. Take your feet off the ground again, right up in the air, so you're at a 90 degree angle happening. Hands down by your side. You're going to try and keep your spine neutral. So you're trying to gently press your back towards the floor. And take one leg forward. So you're going to go out in that direction. And then bring that leg slowly back in. Bend your knee. Take the other side. So slowly out, slowly in. At the same time, you're trying to keep your back in a very steady position. If you're a beginner, don't take your leg out so far. So can you give me a beginner version, Rhonda? Just keeping your knee bent a little bit. Just about there. 
and back in. Keep those going, let's have a look over here and see how the team's going. Hey Miss Tegan, that looks fantastic. Now you can actually see Tegan's dance training and trapeze training, those pointed toes. She cannot help but point the toe as it comes out, it just happens naturally. All right, so that's a performer down here. We'll gradually introduce you to some of our newer members on the team. Um, Tegan is basically a trapeze artist, that was for her background, and a dancer. Okay, I'd like to look at those two feet. How can you point in sneakers? That's what I want to know. It's amazing. How are you going with those muscles? You're squeezing the stomach muscles nice and tight. I want you to keep moving, doing as many more of these as you can. And when you finish, we're going to come back with some stretches for you very, very soon. Hopefully you've had a good body workout. We've worked through the legs, through the upper body and through your abs. So we need to take some stretches now. First of all, cross your ankle over your knee, your knee out to the side, pull your legs in towards your chest and start to feel that stretch in towards your backside. You're using your breathing. You can even relax your head all the way down. So all you're focusing on is the muscle in your backside, stretching and lengthening. Lower your leg, take the top one up in the air. Hamstring stretch down the back of your thigh. Pulling slowly in towards your chest. Keep pulling, but you keep your bottom on the ground. That's the tip. Yeah, I can lift my bottom and bring my leg further, but that's not the aim. Back's flat, tummy's tight. Slowly pull in. Change over to the other side. First of all, the gluteal stretch. Ankle over, knee out. Reach through the center. Pull your legs closer towards your chest. Relax your head down if you can. Keep that going. Have you ever had a workout with a personal trainer? Personal trainers will do the stretching for you and it's really, really nice so you can totally relax. So why not book in with one of your trainers today at your local gym? Take your hamstring stretch, reaching up, and pull that one just a little bit further. Another great way to do some stretching is also going to yoga classes. Yoga combines stretching and strength. Hey team, it's time to take a little rock and roll and sit yourself up. Now, we get fan mail and emails from all around the world. In fact, I've even got one here right now. And if you would like to write into us, or maybe post us an email or a letter, whatever, why not write to the address that's now appearing on your screen? I'd really love to hear from you all, especially about the results that you're getting from our workouts. So if you can take the time to just pop us a line, we will reply to you, be it on air or in person, we'll do our very best to reply to everybody along the way. This workout today was for all the mums at home, but don't forget this email here is for all the people from Sky Sports in the UK. Chris Greer has written to us, and Chris, you've been watching our team for over three or four years, so it's great to hear from you. Thanks for finally writing to us, and hopefully we'll hear from you again soon. Sitting up, everybody, legs crossed. Reach your hands up in the air, and all the way forward. Keep reaching, reaching, reaching. You're opening up through your lower back, and relaxing your head and shoulders. Now I'm looking at you, and if you can see me, you're doing something wrong, because I want your head down. So just keep your ears open, keep your eyes down. No, don't look at me yet. Okay, team, slowly roll up. Yep, the eyes can come up, change your feet around. Do the same stretch again on the other side. So you're lifting up, you're reaching forward. You can see me, you can see me, you can see me. Now you can't see me. Your head is down, but I'm watching you. Oh yes, big brother or big sister is watching you right now. So make sure you're popping your head down. And slowly unfold, everyone coming all the way back up again. Fantastic. Leg stretches. Two feet out in front, to do your calves, all I want you to do is to sit up straight, turn your toes up and feel a pull in the back of the legs, especially down in the calf area. Circle your feet around, loosen off those calves and ankles and back the other way. Release, 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 release. Alright, I'd like everyone to come to a standing position, so just in your own time, pushing off, use your legs to help you, press all the way to the top, feet wide, stretching through your upper body, your chest. Open your arms out to the side. Keep opening out, palms up, feeling the stretch in your chest. If you've got a towel, you'll actually hold onto the towel behind your body and open that a little bit further. Hands come up, link your fingers, now reach out forward. At the same time you bend your knees, you open out through your back and drop your head down so you feel the stretch into your upper back. Take your hands over to the right side, so you're pulling across to the right, increasing the stretch along one side of your body, breathing out as you do that. Slowly to the other side, team. Arms coming across. Take a big breath in and then exhale. Extend your stretch. 
back in the middle, release your hands and slowly roll up. Rolling your shoulders up and back. Whew, okay, relax your neck, head over to the side. Do you build up a lot of stress and tension through the neck muscles? Do you feel that? Try and just relax it now. Up and over the other way, head over, dropping your ear down towards your shoulder. Again, using your body weight to help you with the stretches. So the weight of your head is stretching out your neck muscles. Into the center, roll the shoulders up and back again. And release and stretch. Hey team, take a great big breath in, lifting up. Exhale and open, standing as tall as you can. You should be feeling fantastic now. You've warmed up, you've worked through your whole body, we've taken some stretches. Hopefully you will join us for the very next aerobic style workout. Bye for now.